All right, hey guys, welcome in today. Got a new easy project. I know I always say that, but this one is really easy. Um, it is a fun Picasso art, which is a famous artist, so I like doing famous artist projects. Pablo Picasso is a famous artist um, that did a lot of really cool and unique pictures. Had a lot of to do with kind of almost like shapes and symbols some of them intertwined in faces. So this is kind of a Picasso two-face project. So that is what we're gonna do today. So let me get out of this stuff out of the way. So this is kind of how I came about this picture um, is going off of this Picasso work of art and seeing kind of how the two faces, how one is almost like a profile, the side of a face and one is kind of a fr front face kind of looking out at you. So I took that and then kind of combine this as two faces. So how I'm gonna have this started out is I have a regular paper and a practice. I always love doing practice because practice, practice, practice makes you better at things. You can kind of choose which way that you want to do yours, either up and down, which is um, vertical, or horizontal, which is side to side. So I'm gonna start this one up and down. Try as best as you can to do a nice big oval. That's kind of your first thing or your first shape. You can't see it probably right now, but then if I make it a little bit darker, because I kind of practiced it a little bit first, as I make it darker, turned out pretty good. So from there, this is the challenging part, and I always kind of have kids take their own face and actually trace their forehead all the way down to their nose and over their lips kind of goes over there and then down their chin. Just to kind of see what that profile looks like, that's literally how we do this, is basically you start at the top and then you kind of go out a little bit because your forehead kind of comes out a little bit and then it kind of goes back in by the eyes and then definitely out for the nose and then that nose kind of sharply turns back in and then it goes a little straight and then it kind of does like a backwards three for your lips and then kind of your chin pokes out a little bit and then dumps back in. So that would kind of be a profile. We'll so, then trace these. Um, there's a couple things that you can do. I've done this both ways with either tracing it in Sharpie or marker, permanent marker, or my kind of jumbo black, black crayons works really good with that too. So that's kind of the first part of it and that's probably the most challenging part of it is to get that kind of profile face on there. From there, it's adding some of the eyes so that it's almost two-faced. You can do one side if you want, but I always kind of do like football shapes because Picasso did really kind of simple shapes for the eyes and then your circle in the middle of that one. Um, you can also keep in mind that shape theme because Picasso did a lot of shapes and almost do like a triangle for the lips. So that would be one face kind of pointing this way and then our other face, we would do kind of on the other side. So you could do another eye. It doesn't have to be the same size, but it could be the same size on that way. And then I actually take that triangle and do the same thing on this side to kind of complete almost like a diamond. And then with a line meeting at your lips and in the middle. So it kind of actually looks like two faces, one face going this way and then one face coming out at you. So now I'm gonna go over that in marker so you can see it a little bit better. And then I got all my pencil kind of covered up. So that's the basics of it. And then for coloring, what I do for coloring is I have them choose one of the complementary colors. And complementary colors are colors that are opposite on the color wheel. So we're thinking of either green, yellow, and purple, or blue and orange. So you can choose any one of those color combinations, whichever side that you want to do one of those complementary colors on one side and then the other color on the other side. And then for the background, I just kind of split it up or divide it. Some people kind of do just from the corners out. So just by the magic of YouTube, I will kind of sprinkle my little magic dust on it, maybe do a snap and 
And there it is, so I got it all done here. It's up for a little bit. I kind of switched up a couple of things, um, so clearly I did my background and colored in that. Um, I thought for my orange and my blue, I thought it would be cool also because I got an awesome idea from one of my kids that just did this um, the other day that kind of alternated their lips and their eyes, so I thought that was a good idea with each of the colors kind of alternating that, um, just to kind of explore more of the complementary colors. And then I thought the background would look cool. And then for the background also, I added, and I actually didn't finish just to show you guys, on the top, um, you can kind of see it still. I just did a little zigzags on the top, but I did that all the way around and then I just filled that in. So I'm gonna quick fill in this, and always a tip so you don't get it on my tables or your tables that you're using, is just to use a scrap piece of paper, and you can see I use that for the other one. So I'm gonna go through and do this real quick. Just like that, it is all complete now. So I got my Picasso Two Face, which kind of looks a little bit kind of like the original, but definitely has a new flavor on it, which I like. So definitely, if you like this project or you love it, hit the thumbs up, hit that like button down below. Always, that's how I know which videos are getting the most likes are the ones that I want to do more videos like that one. So hit that like button down below. Always hit the subscribe button. Also, if you haven't already subscribed to all my videos, multiple videos coming out multiple times a week, tons and tons of free fun videos for art abilities of all ages. So thank you guys for viewing. As always, I am Mr. Shooty, this is Mr. Shooty's art class, and we will see you guys later.